But two, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to have you join us again. It's still surgery month, as you know, it's April. And we have the newest machine in the line. Okay. This one is the 55th anniversary limited edition <laughs> EF205. It is a wonderful four thread serger. It harkens back to the original machine that we had, which I think you might remember from last week when we were showing you on the chart, the one that was the metal green original one. Well, they pulled that green color into this machine just I to love kind of it. pull that a little bit forward. But as you know, the advancements that have been made on these machines over the last 55 plus years mm -hmm. has been astounding. Oh yeah. So come in closer to this one, Kaylin. Okay. So this one is kind of a combination of some of the other ones we have. It has some features from machines that are below it in our line and some features that it pulled from some that are above it. Okay. And when I'm speaking of things like the wave stitches on this one. Oh, nice. In our original line of what we have going on in the store currently, you have to go to the Acclaim or higher to get the wave stitch. It's not on this smaller platformed machine like the Victory. Okay. So it's kind of nice that you're getting a little bit of that wonderful world and a little bit of this wonderful world. And it also has the push to thread button much like that Acclaim does, okay. but it's on a little bit smaller platform. Mm -hmm. And it also means it's a little bit um, lower price point for you. And there's only a few of these nationwide. Really? Right, I mean, we only have a limited amount at Be So In and we want you to be someone that gets to go home with them. Yeah. So we had shown you all the wonderful ways that it can thread when it has the push to thread button, because whenever you lock this in place and the tubes come in, oh, you see. push the button, shoots the air through there, and then this one has the same sort of needle threader like the Victory has Very that nice. we showed you last week. Yeah. And does beautiful stitching. This one hums like all the others. Can I show you? Yes. Again, it has the blade that's going to cut that off. And it's going to do a beautiful four thread overlock. You can also do a rolled hem. You can do the wave stitch with this one, which can make beautiful edges on blankets and quilts or napkins or garments, whatever you want to do with it. So if this is something you're excited about, they are limited. Not only do you get the limited edition machine, but you also get some goodies that they packaged with it. Okay, sure. As you can see here, this is the 55th anniversary edition serger inspiration guide. So as you may have seen from the past, when we talk about our inspirational guides, these books are written by Baby Lock educators and the pictures and the information in them is specific to this model. It's nice. not generic information. Yeah. It also comes with this beautiful package of Baby Lock Sweet Seams fabric. Aren't they pretty? They're the right kind of color family. And think of something beautiful you could make with that. Right. I don't know about you, but I love to piece my quilts with a serger because then my edges are always finished. Mm -hmm. I know one of my greatest sadnesses on some of the um, quilts I've inherited from my great grandmother that she hand pieced, those fabrics are old but there's nothing that encases that. Now she did sit there with a needle and thread and you know, they're gorgeous quilts, but I want my great grandchildren to be able to have quilts that aren't going to be as likely to come unraveled just mm -hmm. because I managed to finish them with that four thread overlock. Yeah, nice. So if you want one of these special edition ones, we already have sold some of them, so the, the numbers are dwindling as we speak. Give any one of our stores a call. You can call us in Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Muskogee, Fayetteville, Springfield, or Humble, and get your hands on the 55th anniversary limited edition serger before they're out the door and gone. All right. Let me show you now a little bit of information about some of the combo machines we have in the serger family. Okay. So now we've stepped over here to a combination machine. This is the Triumph by Baby Lock. Okay. It is serging and cover stitch. Okay. So what does that mean? Help me out here, Kaylin. Can you explain with me what that means? 
So the serging is going to be the four thread overlock stitches, right? Yep, the so part we saw along the edge of the, the two fabric. needles and then the upper and lower looper. Right. And then your cover stitch is anything using your chain looper and any combination of the three needles right. um, for the chain side. And that's going to be like your um, professional finish seams where it looks like stitching on the top and then you see a looper on the bottom. Right. So come in closer here for me. So. There's the two needles back here that mm -hmm. are your overlock needles. Mm -hmm. There's your upper looper and there's your lower looper. And then these two needles are what grab that those loops that come around the edge of the fabric. Right. And then you have these three needles that sit in front of these two. Mm -hmm. And you can use one, two, or three in a variety of combinations to get the stitch pattern yeah, that I'll you show like. You from the side. Yeah, you can see, see that there's see. space in between there. Yeah. And so when I had mentioned, how in the world are they ever going to have something that can thread all five needles at the same time mm -hmm. when they're they're forward and backwards? And well, they did. I figured it out. So that wraps around your needle, and then whenever you put your um, your thread lined up with it, it just sucks it right on through there. Yeah. You tell it up here if you Which need it one to be an doing. overlock or cover right. chain stitch needles. So we already have ours all threaded. I just wanted you to be able to see that up close here. And we have this set up with all eight threads. Okay. Because I've had people say, well, what in the world do you do with all eight threads? You don't use all eight at the same time every time you're stitching. No. There are so many different patterns that you can come up with. As I have shown you in the past on some different things, look at all of the different combinations. Ooh, yep. There's a lot. There's a lot of stitches on there. And so you there. just follow the map and it tells you which thread and which path to follow. On the eighth thread, of course, it's using all of them. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to stitch that out to show you what that looks like. Okay. And then explain to you why you might want to use this stitch. Okay. Let me come closer here. Okay. So as you see, you can lift it up, get that underneath there. My blade is cutting. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and cut right off the edge here. And this is what the eight thread stitch looks like. It did the overlocking looper stitch with that safety stitch right here. Mm -hmm. And then it did all three chain stitches. So you can see that on the back. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, what in the world would I use that for? Let's think about if you were making a garment or athletic wear and you're doing something with, now I didn't use stretchy fabric here, but if I had used stretchy fabric and I'm using this as theory, I, I don't honestly go and work out much. <laughs> but the theory is things stretch and so there's a lot of pull on something. Mm -hmm. And when you have a lot of pull, if you have all three rows of stitching and the edges are encased, mm -hmm. that stretchy spandex fabric is going to not pop that seam open because I'm right. sure that would be the worst part of working out is if your <laughs> seams popped open. So having an eight thread stitch yeah. is perfect for any kind of um, garment wear mm -hmm. that has any kind of give to it. Um, but there's all sorts of other reasons you can use it, but that's the one that kind of pops into my head at yeah. the moment. So this one is the combination machine. And we also have the Accolade, which does the same stitch patterns, but it's a smaller version of the machine. It was originally the Evolution, and then they renamed it to be the Accolade. So if you want something with some of these features, but you don't want as big of a machine, then you can get the Accolade. And then we also have one that just does cover stitching only. So that would be the parts over here where you see those three needle stitches, mm -hmm. which you can do as one, two, or three, and that's the euphoria. Okay. So if that's something that interests you, maybe you already have a serger and you love your victory and you're happy with it, but you really want cover stitching, mm -hmm. then maybe you want to add that to it as well. Okay. So another thing that we have special going on during National Serger Month is on some of the select machines, if you purchase the machine, then we have a special deal on this Koala Serger Station to go with it. So if that's something that interests you and you want to find out more about that, you can either look it up online on our website at besoin.com, give any one of the stores a call, but we have a deal on this that you cannot say no to. <laughs> and it is perfect because as you see, it puts everything at the perfect space to be able to just surge right away and store all of my goodies in here. Very good. So. 
I think we have one more thing we want to show you because we are doing our foot of the week special right now. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Okay. Okay. So we're over here at the chorus from Baby Lock so that we can show you the foot of the week this week. Okay. And, and I think that's going to be our official name. I think we're going to have to go with that. Foot of the week. Foot of the week. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't sing. So anyway, <laughs> this week we're going to talk about the G foot. Okay. Okay, so the G foot looks like this. Can right, you get any close to that yeah, one, Kaylin? So that's the G foot. And it is actually the overcasting foot. Okay. So as you know, we've just been talking about sergers, and that is what overcasting is all about, is overlocking. Mm -hmm. Overcasting is mm -hmm. a similar type stitch. And this is one that you can achieve on a sewing machine. Okay. Because as you know, a sewing machine does not have loopers on it. It right. has the needle thread and it has the bobbin thread. And so loopers, of course, were where you had it coming, looping on top and bottom, and then threads are catching the edges of the loop. Mm -hmm. On this, we just have to mimic something that makes it look like an overlocked stitch. Okay. But it's just doing it with two threads, a top thread, the needle thread, the bottom thread, the bobbin thread. You know, they should have called bobbins bottoms because that makes more sense. It's I don't know where the word bobbin actually comes from. Me either. <laughs> Although, I mean, weaving, but beyond that, I don't know. I don't know. We have not done the historical. Maybe we'll, we'll get you next week with that. That'll be a new feature. <laughs> historical. Historical um, etymology lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to snap this one in place. Okay. Oh, actually, before I do, let me show you something on it. Okay. So when you look at this one up close, do you see that little bar that runs right yeah. there in the middle? Yep. Okay. When I flip this over, there's that bar. Mm -hmm. And do you see how it extends? Mm -hmm. beyond that mm -hmm. it's actually open um, I could get my fingernail kind of under there but the thread slides off of this as you're stitching it's kind of a stitch finger it is a stitch finger that's yeah. an excellent way to put that I mean this yeah. is the most like doing um, overcasting that you can get and that's what I meant but <laughs> <laughs> it is overcasting. it is overcasting but it is the most like overlocking and then this part is the the, the bumper of what you're gonna put your fabric up Guide, next right. to okay but the point I'm bringing up with this is, if you are done stitching and you try to pull your fabric to the side, mm -hmm. it can't because the thread is wrapped around that little bar. Okay. So when you're done, you have to pull the fabric from the back, back and then it slides off of okay. that little bar. That makes sense. And then it doesn't get hung up. Yep. Okay? Okay. Little known facts about our feet. All right. So over here on the machine, we are going to go to stitch number on this particular model, stitch number 17. And right here it says overcasting stitch. You can see it right there. Mm -hmm. Tells me what foot to use, yep. G foot. You can adjust the width and the length. I think I'll make mine um, as wide as it can go, which is that one. And I think I'll make it a little bit longer. Okay. Just so you can see it. Now, and it is important with the G foot, just to add, that you are using the overcasting stitches because that stitch finger is under the needle. So we do wanna make sure that whatever stitch we're using on it, the needle's not gonna strike that. And all of those stitches on your machine that tell you to use the G foot are going to hop over that stitch finger. That's right, and if, if you don't use the G foot, or if you use a stitch, if you have the G foot on that's not for a G foot, then you might hit that needle bar. Right. Yeah. There's a reason it tells you which foot to exactly. use. Exactly. So we're on the raw edge of this fabric right here, and as you can see, it's the one that I just did over <laughs> yeah. at the um, yeah. Triumph, yeah. but I am going to put that down, and we are going to, do you see how it moves it forward and backward? Yeah. So my whole goal is that I'm making sure that I'm keeping it lined up with the edge and I'm sorry, I'm kind of sitting off to the side, so I, I can't see it. So really. the camera can get in here, sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm right there on the edge of it. And I'm not going to go the whole distance of it, but I think you're getting the idea of how it's it's keeping all that frayed edge yep. in place. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And remember, I can't pull to the side because it's wrapped around that little bar. But if I pull it to the back, it slides, it slides off. off. And then you can see... It's not exactly the same as doing an overlocking stitch on a serger, but, but it, it is encasing it, and right. it's and it's keeping that from fraying. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, very good. So this is the G foot, and it is a really useful tool 
in the absence of having a surger, or if you just need to do maybe a quick little something and you didn't want to have to switch over and go to that, mm -hmm. you can use that foot in that, in that situation. But it is important to know how to use it correctly so that you, you don't mess up your fabric or break that little piece off of your foot. Okay. So that's the G foot for this week. All right, very good. Okay, so. We need a giveaway. Okay. Okay, so I was thinking about it and I happened to spy something that's right here near this machine. Before we go too much further, in our catalog, you can, did you see all this fabric? Oh, I here? know. That comes free with this machine right it's now. It's an option, yes. Oh. If you want to get this fabric when you buy this machine, or you can do the free financing. Okay, so, so you it, got options. You get to pick which one you want. Okay. So if, if all this fabric appeals to you. I'm thinking load that up in the trunk of my car. I'm telling you. <laughs> Get me some more fabric. That's right. Who <laughs> needs a stroller in the back of the car when you can put fabric well, in Well, right. It. We'll just fill the stroller with fabric. Look It'll be fine. Here. Look at these fun little pin cushions we have. Okay. Are these not adorable? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I mean, and look at all the fun colors. I absolutely. Oh, that's another yellow one. Here's a blue one. And a green one. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Look how cute those are. Of course. Tomato red is always my favorite. And Classic. it has the little strawberry on the side for your needles. Mm -hmm. So we want somebody to be able to win one of these. Okay. So if you will do, you know how it works, and you get to pick whatever color you want. If red's not your thing and you'd rather have hot pink or blue, that's fine. But you know what we do? We like, share, and comment on our Facebook page so that you're getting the word out to everybody in America about Be So In. We love doing New It Too, and we want one of you to be the lucky winner of this beautiful pin cushion. All right. Thank you for joining us. We'll have more fun things going on about National Surger Month the next week on New It Too. Please give our stores a call. We can't wait to hear from you because we want you to enjoy all the fun we're having with these machines too.